Hello everyone, this is Nintendo 2 and welcome to a 1.13.2 Rift Mod Loader tutorial. This is my second one. This is going to be a better version of the prior one I did a while ago due to knowing a few things since as well as knowing stuff that's been available now that I didn't have access to before. I like stuff like Rift Mod Loader for example or a Rift um, not exactly database, but a um, a list of prior Rift versions, if need be. 1.13 and 1.13.2. I've got the download here, if anyone wants to, on the Rift discussion section. Should be something like this. You can just type Rift in here, and it'll be fairly high up there, unless it's probably just because it, for some reason, knows how to send me straight to that for whatever reason. Um, but this URL should take you straight there when you put it in your search bar or URL search bar or something. Um, now in the past, obviously, I've recommended going to here because that's the only solution that I came across at the time. Due to it being that I made that video pretty early from when this came out, as well as Voxel Map and Aquarius being the only two mods at the time that were also available that also allowed for this. Now obviously I've just said that you can get the following here, and there's multiple versions of Rift. Now 106 is a 1.13.2 version, 105 and below are all 1.13 versions. And if you know this, you'll also know that 66 and above are also 1.13 versions because if you've used PGEG it'll recommend version 86 which if I actually check that here pretty game enhancing goblet will recommend version 86 and higher so yeah but otherwise 106 is what we're going to look at today and the fact that I've also got prior versions here, which technically Rift should create its own if it doesn't. Um, similar to how you would with Forge, if you want to update certain stuff, you can switch them out. Obviously, the 1.13.2, I haven't found anything higher than 106, and I haven't found anything lower than 106 that's 1.13.2 compatible, since 105 is 1.13 compatible. So obviously, if I was managing stuff, I'd go with either the snapshot version, which I don't have in this vanilla launcher setup here, because I've messed around with two of them, one that I had all strictly 1.13 and 1.14, and then this one, which is just me upgrading um, my 1.7.10 to 1.12.0 to 1.13, because I just did for some reason, just never mind. Um, Obviously, 105, 77, and 87 are all 1.13 versions, as you can see, and I was testing the Rift Snapshot version. Um, otherwise, besides that, the one difference between Rift as well as Light Loader is the fact that Light Loader is obviously for 1.12.2 and below. They use light mod files, Rift uses .jars like Forge does, so you definitely want to notice the difference of that. Now, when it comes to Optifine, I would recommend the mirror download, not the main download here, because it goes to AdFly. I absolutely hate AdFly, like many people, but the mirror download seems to be very simple. So if you haven't already done this and you do use Optifine, definitely go for this. I've already done that and I've also extracted it to be used for a mod. So if you use this, download it, go through to the menu, window, whatever it is, and then go extract, which I'll probably just do right now. So if I go here, for example, I'd want to go extract right there, or I can just install it into the profile, but for it to work alongside Rift, you want to go extract. Now, I've done that, and I've got it right here, mod.jar of Optifine. Uh, I'm not going to use voxel map this time when testing just because I've already specified the results of that and also as well I don't really like the way it stumbles at the start. Um, other than that we've got the testing of Milo Lib and Lightmatica for the sake of light mods in the past but now .jar mods with Rift. 
Otherwise, roughly enough items for a recipe slash cheat mode mod, similar to AEI as well as JEI. Obviously, AEI for 1.13, which is now outdated, and roughly enough items now continues things um, from where it left off, as well as even improving on a lot of stuff. Um, Aquarius, we've got. Uh, mini herd, bunch of other stuff. Rift Modless is a very important one, I'll show you that soon. But, uh, yeah, actually I'll do that now, as well as in-game. So we'll find out. If you have seen with Rift, obviously there is the resource packs menu, not the folder, but the menu that will show certain stuff um, on the side here, on this right panel. And, uh, yeah, by default Rift shows mod, uh, mods through it. Uh, you can do the data pack list command as well and it'll show only content mods, it won't show stuff like voxel map with that command for listing Rift mods. Um, obviously Rift mod list makes things easier for viewing the website of the mod, like the Curse Forge link for example, as well as obviously viewing information about it. You've got open mods folder. I think you can access configs now. I can't remember, but I'll probably show that if I can. Otherwise I already have a video on the mod. Um, other than that, let's get started. So yeah, Rift will obviously be installed pretty simply, the same way you would Forge. You just double click the file and then you're off by just clicking OK, it should automatically do this for you. If it doesn't, obviously, create your own new one, name it what you want, select the profile, and you're good to go. Now I've already done that, so we'll move on to the next part. I've got Rift mod list here, like so. I've already got the mods folder open, so I don't really need to see that. There's the details there. If there is a website, it will view it. Uh, clearly there isn't, there's one there for the developer's website, and there's some little, it's, their own, it's the same developer, um, certain others like Curse Forge Link will be there, but if they're, if the mod supports it, um, it integrates some of these features, which some like custom selection box do. Now I'll just go into my world that I created in my last attempt of this video, and uh, yeah. And we're in the world. So we've got Mini Hut up there. We've got it saying there's a new version of Optifine. I've usually noticed that this version of Optifine and the 3.5, I mean, not 3.4, um, and Rift crash or certain incompatibility isn't the case. Uh, sorry, incompatibility is happening. So I'd recommend version 3.4, not 3.5. Otherwise, there's obviously our 1.13.2 environment. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure that's it. There's a few changes here that I haven't noticed with Aria, or it's just something else, I don't know. Otherwise, I've got Aquarius in here with its few items. It's not allocated after the section, so you'll notice that a lot. There's a lot of items that get mixed in with Minecrafts due to either not working the same way as IDs or just how it just sorts stuff in. Otherwise, pretty much, yeah. Uh, if I missed anything, let me know. And otherwise, if you'd like to ask any questions, definitely leave them in the comments and I'll try and reply to them as best I can. Otherwise, try and access the forums, because I definitely recommend that. Especially the Rift discussion section. I definitely recommend that because I definitely don't mind responses on here that I can answer as best I can. Um, I'm no expert, I just try and work out what I can. Um, obviously, previous response have come across. Um, all I know is obviously how to install it, how to check through certain bits and pieces of mod compatibility just by working it out myself. I don't know much more. Other than that, I can't read the crash reports, but I just try and mess around with mods and see what I can do to solve certain problems by going in and out, in and out, one at a time, what works.